Hello and welcome to the Rock Record TLDR, made for those who don't have time to read the full stories written in the stones. Today we're uncovering the hidden gem of Montana, quite literally. In the next few minutes we'll dig into the fascinating world of Montana sapphires, from their fiery birth in ancient magma to the thrill of modern day treasure hunting. In 1865, gold miners stumbled upon sapphires near Helena, Montana. By 1889, Montana Sapphires hit the big time at major exhibitions, being featured by major jewelers such as Tiffany & Co. In the 1890s, however, the famous Yogo Gulch Blue Sapphire stole the spotlight from these Missouri River gems. The last major mining in this area was during World War II, where Montana Sapphires helped aid the war effort by being used in precision bearings. But how did they form? Montana Sapphires were born in ancient magma, cooled into a rock called diorite, and transformed by heat and pressure into a mineral called corundum. Sapphires are the gem quality versions of corundum. Fun fact, it is a 9 out of 10 on the Mohs hardness scale. Only diamond is tougher. After these sapphires formed, we can fast forward to the last ice age. Massive glaciers act like nature's conveyor belt, scattering sapphires across Montana's landscape. Today, we are at the Spokane Bar Sapphire Mine just outside of Helena, Montana. For just $10, you can dig up your own bucket of sapphire gravel and sift through it to potentially strike it rich. Here's a quick panning tutorial. Submerge, shake, rotate. The goal, get those heavy sapphires in the center. It's way easier than I make it look, I promise. Montana sapphires come in a rainbow of colors. Look for those angular shapes and tiny, tiny, tiny spinel inclusions. That's the Montana-Missouri River signature. Notable finds from this area include a 64.7 carat stone, the 12.54 carat Big Sky Sapphire, and more recent discoveries weighing over 30 carats. If you're panning your own sapphires, don't be surprised if your sapphire looks a little pale. Most of them get heat treated to enhance the color. It's just recreating nature's own process. The top spots for public sapphire hunting are the Spokane Barn near Helena, and Gem Mountain in Phelpsburg. I hope this quick dive into Montana sapphires has sparked your inner treasure hunter. For the full, in-depth story of these amazing gems, check out our extended video, link in the description. If you enjoyed this geological speed run, hit that like button and subscribe for more Rock Record TLDR adventures. Where should we explore next? Let us know in the comments.